Hi, it's Deanna Henderson here from Mini Beast Wildlife. Today we're going to talk about setting up an enclosure for your stick insects. When you order a stick insect from Mini Beast Wildlife, the first thing to do is to download the care guide to make sure that you know how to look after it before it arrives. When it arrives, it will come packaged like this, in a plastic takeaway container with some leaves for the insect to feed on on the way and some moist paper towel. So the first thing to do when you receive it is to set up your enclosure. So at Mini Beast Wildlife we sell two types of stick insect enclosures, the large pop-up mesh enclosure and the small mesh enclosure. We're going to set up the large one today but it will be relevant for the small one as well. So when we say large pop-up mesh enclosure we do mean pop-up. So we just open it up like this and pull out the middle to create the stable enclosure you can see. It's got a big zip at the front so we're going to open that up and we're going to think about what to put inside. So you can put some paper towel or some newspaper down on the bottom to catch any mess but you don't have to do that. You can use a brush and shovel to brush it out quite easily as well. So we're going to think about a jar to put some water in. We want to put some water in here to keep the leaves as fresh as possible. So I've got this glass jar so we're going to put some water in there. And because we don't want our insect to fall into the water and potentially drown, we're going to put a covering over the top. And I've just got some foil here, so I'm just going to put that over the top of our jar. And then we can just poke the branches of leaves through there. So we'll put that in the enclosure. So it's really important when you first receive your insect to provide it a few different kinds of leaves so that uh, it's got a bit of a choice and it can choose which it prefers most. So we have some kadagi leaves and two different kinds of eucalyptus leaves here. So we're going to put that into the water jar. There we go. Now it's really important that some of the leaves reach right to the top of the enclosure and that's because sometimes the insect will climb up the sides of the enclosure and won't be able to reach the leaves once it gets to the top. So we want to make sure that the insect can access the leaves from all sides of the enclosure. So there we go. Then we're going to open up our container with our juvenile spiny leaf insect. So here we go, we've got a juvenile spiny leaf insect here. And you might think this size of enclosure is actually a bit of overkill for the size of the insect. But over here you can see an adult female. So they do grow quite large and we want to provide an enclosure that's large enough for the insect to grow without having any problems at all. So we're just going to put the insect gently in the enclosure now on one of the leaves and make sure all the leaves are inside and then we're going to zip up the enclosure. Now the last thing we're going to do is spray the inside of the enclosure with some water. We can spray the insect itself and around the, the leaves around the insect just to give it a bit of moisture so it can have a drink if it needs to. Now it's really important to observe your stick insect for the next day or so to make sure it's feeding on the leaves in there and then when you can see what kind of leaf it's feeding on you can just feed it that type. So that's a simple way of setting up a stick insect enclosure. Thanks very much for watching. Please remember to like our Facebook page and to subscribe to our YouTube channel to find out more about our amazing mini beasts.